You're watching The Advocate on PLUS TV Africa. Society is a product of the culture we endorse and promote in our spaces of influence. I think you'd agree. Sacrificing our sons and daughters. Recently, a couple of issues in the news brought home to me the problem that is a cultural mindset which hides behind, this is how it was in my time, and so it will be world without end. The matter of Pastor Deboe's advice to his spiritual son and the practice of female genital mutilation. We live in a world where our practices are as much shaped by our fears as by our individual limitations, and we then presume to pass these disfigured belief systems onto our children. Starting with the most obvious anomaly, the practice of female genital mutilation. It may or may not shock some of us to know that Nigeria is ranked third highest in female genital mutilation prevalence in the world. According to statistics from UNICEF, approximately 25% or 19.9 million Nigerian girls and women 15 to 49 years old underwent female genital mutilation between 2004 and 2015. This is despite the fact that there is no medical benefit, but rather a price tag of over $1 billion to the healthcare sector in treating the fallout of this wicked practice. Then onto the matter that has been captioned, crush your crush, where a male boss was advised by his father to sack his secretary because he confessed to having a crush on her as a way of saving his marriage. Curiously, both these instances are linked. The direct victim in both cases, the woman, is made to bear the punishment of fears of an unbridled sexuality. We hear, were it, were it your husband, you wouldn't be so cavalier, as though one person's inability to control themselves is justification for despotically imposing a restriction on another from without, sometimes with life and death consequences. Though some of us may not identify with the practices I've highlighted, it's evident to me that in one form or the other, we have engaged with the dialogue around whether to endorse a culture in our homes simply because we did it in our time, even when the practice has no moral value beyond validating or otherwise condemning us. For example, I didn't take my study seriously, but since I didn't turn out badly, there's no need to insist on my children being too studious and missing out on other aspects of life's enjoyment. I partied hard and binged on drugs and alcohol as a young guy or girl, and I'm still a responsible adult. So I'll look the other way when my kids do likewise. After all, they say like father, like son, like mother, like daughter, Abby. Whereas it's evident that some things are not genetic, but socially generated. Let us face up to our truths as individuals and stop hiding behind religion, culture, or even our past experiences. We each have a conscience that tells us that just because it was done by us or to us, doesn't mean it should be enshrined in perpetuity. It doesn't mean I should sacrifice my sons and daughters in the name of validating me. There you go. Yeah. Um, if, uh, if in my time... I beg to rise. <laughs> if in my time I couldn't um, make a first class, nobody will make a first class in my class. Mm -hmm. You hear it, you know, in my university. By lecturers. So by lecturers. Okay. You know, if in my time, as brilliant as I was, I couldn't... Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, so this... I, I completely agree with you. Uh, you know, why, why make, uh, in one breath you say, be outspoken. In another breath you punish somebody for being outspoken. You know, there are some people who can control themselves. There are some who can't. There should be a middle ground. Learn to give advice, help. But the situation where you say, oh, because I don't want her to be, you know, too sexually attractive to men. So you just condemn her sexuality completely. You know, or the fact that a lady says, oh, I like my boss, I'm attracted to him. And the father says, oh, I forbid you in Jesus' name. You, must. you know, so for me, I, I'm trying to place a finger why, you know, we are so religious and less godly. And why we preach one thing and do another. It, it, it's, it's, it's sad. Yes, there are some situations where you didn't, um, you didn't, you parted hard, but you turned out good. But do you know if your son, you know, carries the same mentality like you? Resilience. Like you, all resilience and yeah. that all that also as at that time, mm -hmm. the value or the, the standards of education had, you know, risen now than it was in your time. In your time, 40 could be past mark. Now, 65 is past mark. And so your son could still be passing and coming out with, um, you know. So I, I think that's why I like, I like this, your advocacy. I think really we need to try as much as we can to find a middle ground in everything we do and put the other persons, you know, always hear the other side. And they might probably appreciate why, you know, they feel the way they feel. Mm. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, I, I, I agree with you to the, um, where, where you're talking about, you know, we shouldn't, just because we did something and we got away with it doesn't mean we should then um, allow or our wards or yeah. whoever it is to, to do that. And I agree with you because, I mean, I must say, I'm not, I wasn't someone that enjoyed school. I didn't love school. Um, you know, I kind of just did school to just get through it. Um, you know, left me out of probably gone and done a hairdressing course. But anyway, that's for another, <laughs> for another day. Or modeling. Yeah. But, you know, my son who, he loves, you know, he loves to learn and everything, but he complains to me every now and again that, oh, he doesn't like to go to school. Like, he doesn't want to go to school but he's doing fantastically well at school well I could easily say ah, don't worry chill out don't worry you can do like me you know you still get through you get enough grades but no I've, I've actually turned into <laughs> the opposite I push him I'm on top of him I'm like we don't want to hear it so you're absolutely right that we shouldn't just because things um we got away with things in our time. We shouldn't then allow our kids to now fall, uh, fall by the wayside or fall into bad habits or do terrible things. If you took drugs, thank God that, you know, so terrible things did not happen to you afterwards. But don't go and don't turn a blind eye and watch your child going down that route and say that it's, it, it's okay. Um, for Now, let's get back to this uh, female uh, genital, genital, genital mutilation. mutilation. Crazy. It's, it's women, it, actually. Yes, mothers it comes it. close to it, the same thing I was raising with this bride price, you know, it's a culture that they are, they are, they are not the same. It is, it is. Because the mother said it was done it's, to them. It's a culture that it is, it's unnecessary, it's not right, but this is actually even more dangerous in yeah, an extent. Exactly. Mm. But it doesn't mean that bride price is not just as dangerous. So, because no, it's not, giving it's not. people the right to feel yeah. like they own a human being creates all manner no, of problems. No, 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 there, yeah. There's violence, there's all manner of things that come from that. But anyway, let's put that to you. demanding <laughs> gifts. Uh, also give somebody that right of entitlement. If I give you every, I imagine a guy say, in one week, I have know how much I spent on you. Uh, and that's it, man. But that's, 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 that's part of It is part of that bride price. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. That, that's what it is. People give you gifts so then, in then relation for, for, yes, maybe you should. No, but talk, talk right. on the female gentle mutilation. But go on. Just take you guys with what you mentioned earlier. That we need to be very careful. You know, as parents, we want to replicate ourselves and our children. We need to be very careful mistakes. and realize <laughs> that they, we are just vessels mm -hmm. through which God has, them. you know, they, they are going to make their mistakes. Mm. We can only define the path for them, you know, where they'll end up is entirely up to their destiny. You know, so we need to be very careful how we try to replicate ourselves. You know, you say, oh, I made this mistake, so my child must not make that mistake. Oh. You are not in control. Mm. And you as a person, you're a culmination of all your past experience. Mm. Experiences as a person, all your li life experiences, what makes you as a person, your child cannot enjoy. You can only share. It's now left for the child to take away from this and turn out. Now, concerning uh, the... Uh, female genital mutilations mm. we're talking about. I think it's, um, it's one of those cultures that I would, you know, you gladly beat my right? chest and say, no, we should do <laughs> away with it. Indeed. You know, that it's not, it's not fashionable. When you look yeah, at in the past, promiscuity yeah, because what, what the, the thinking, the thinking, behind, yeah. the thinking behind the thinking behind it, yeah. because I think that's another thing. We need to understand why our forefathers engaged in this practice you and educate them the on the, the disadvantage mm -hmm. rather than just ruling it out. Because if you do that, you get a lot of backlash. Yeah. They're like, no, this is what we inherited. Mm -hmm. But when you begin to highlight all the negatives, mm -hmm. you know, and you tell them, yes, we understand you're trying to curb promiscuity and things like that, you know, but you look at the other side, you yes. might yes. end up. <laughs> so having a discussion like that, rather than outrightly condemning the practice, yeah. you know, would, you would not succeed, except you have a discussion with them. Then with the... A day boy one. I think it's, it's, that, it's, it's, it's so wrong because the woman has not done was, anything They said wrong. they would rather, the woman were sacked and the husband went into Oh, absolutely, the that is rubbish. And the way I, 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 with reality, I, I don't I agree with that. The fact that somebody, my boss, has a crush on, uh, mm. on me as a secretary or whatever, you know, I should not be punished for that. Yeah. You know? But I think, quickly, again, they're going back to, quickly. you know, they're taking the Bible out of context. I think it's that if your right hand makes you sin, cut it off. It but they've now transferred it to get rid the right of the hand. individual. Exactly. Yeah, she's the right the hand. Problem, mm. The problem yeah, is with person. our so-called, this 
you know, the um, we live in a world where you know the man is seen as you know the head. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and so he can never be wrong in some cases. Mm. Well, we've come full circle, interrogating on productive practices along the way. Do keep your comments coming in on Facebook plus TV Africa hashtag the Advocate NG or on Twitter and Instagram at plus TV Africa hashtag the Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to www.plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Be sure to be part of the conversation next week, same time, same channel, as together we continue advocating for a better society. Till then, it's bye for now. Bye. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.